My name is Robert Dunlop. I'm an educator and author of the book Strive for Happiness in Education. This month we're excited to focus on our theme of reflection. Finding time to reflect on our lives is a great way to show us the path forward. The more knowledge we have around what impacts our emotions, the more likely we are to make changes that will make us happier. One mantra that I have come to live by is this, listen to your life. For many years, I did not do this. I got caught up in the busyness of day to day and rarely stopped to reflect on if what I was doing was making me happy or not. I think this is common in education. One year rolls into the next, then on to the next, and over time we lose a sense of what brings us the most joy and fulfillment in our jobs. By taking the time to reflect, we're giving ourselves the opportunity to change. Although change can be difficult and scary at times, it can often be what we need to stay engaged and happy in this profession. Often when I run workshops on happiness and education, I make it my goal to help educators reflect on their careers. By getting them to look back on their careers with a happiness lens, they often have aha moments and come to realizations on where they need to make changes. There's so much opportunity for change in education. Not only can we change schools, grades, and roles, but we can also change what we teach and how we teach it. The more we listen to our lives, the more we will know when this change needs to occur and what our next steps will be. From my experience, the educators that embrace change and who are willing to continually evolve within the profession are amongst the happiest. Every educator that I have met has run into some tougher years in the profession. When I do the happiness timeline exercise with educators in my workshops, no one has ever drawn a straight line. Each educator has peaks and valleys throughout their careers. As we look deeper into these lines, we often realize that change was a solution from getting out of a valley and back onto a peak. It is also important to reflect on how we see the world. When times get tough, it is easy to become pessimistic and negative. Personally, I found that learning more about how I choose to see situations has had a great impact on my outlook and happiness. Investing time in approaching life with more optimism is a great investment to become a happier person. To do this, however, you need to reflect often and honestly. Finally, it's important that we reflect on our true goals and what we want to achieve as an educator. Reconnecting with our why is a powerful way to stay engaged and happy in the profession. It is easy to get distracted and off course as an educator as there are so many things going on. The activities this month are designed to get you thinking about where you are at in your career and how happy you are. Each of the videos this month will dive deeper into the need for change, optimism, and the reason that you became an educator in the first place. Hopefully you feel inspired to take an honest look at how happy you are as an educator and look for ways to connect to even more happiness. By looking back, it helps us look forward to another amazing year of teaching. Thank you for joining us and remember to strive for happiness in education. You deserve it.